Hello and welcome to Alex Cooks, the number one cooking show of YouTube. What are we going to be cooking today? Well, we shall be cooking some lemon curd cake. That's right, lemon curd cake. Uh, now this dish, I mean, because I do like a bit of summer, I think lemon is the best summery sweet food. It's not sweet really, but I mean, can make it into sweet things at, that you can use in the summer and lemons are like my favourite thing for that. Anyway, uh, before I can banter any more awkwardly, let's get to the ingredients. Now, to make one heck of a lemon curd cake, you shall be needing 175 grams of butter, softened. 175 grams of caster sugar. Three eggs, lightly beaten. 175 grams of self-raising flour, sifted. One teaspoon of baking powder, also sifted. Freshly, gr freshly grated zest and juice of one lemon. And for the filling, six more tablespoons of lemon curd and off screen for now but will pop up in a later part 250 grams of mascarpone cheese and here is the mascarpone cheese for the filling aka the curd now this is what I'm excited for the most this little bit anyway I think that's all I'm gonna say right now let's get cooking first of all I have actually lined two 20 centimeter cake tin. So I'll place the uh, butter and sugar into the bowl. I shall now cream it together until it is light and pale. That's, I mean, fluffy and pale. Okay, now, what, what I, I've actually managed to blend this mixture together now, as you can see. The next step will be to whisk together these eggs until the yolk and the uh, white are combined. And now what we are going to do is that we're going to uh, uh, gradually add these eggs and then mix it in. Okay, here's the first lot. Okay, and now blending time. <laughs> And continue doing this until the entire all the eggs have been incorporated. So we have I have now got one teaspoon of baking powder in this flour mixture. I shall now be pouring it into the sieve and then I shall be sieving it in and then I will start folding in the floury mixture. Okay, so what I forgot to mention earlier um, is that you should actually uh, heat your oven to 160 degrees Celsius. Now anyway, um, I'm actually now sieving in the flour, as you can see. Just going to crush those last bits against the bottom of the sieve. There we go. Okay, so now I've got my wooden, I mean my metal spoon. Okay, we're going to fold it in. You know, here we go. Okay, now for the lemony bit. And I'm not talking about a series of unfortunate events. Now I shall take the lemon zest. Okay, we're going to use the knife to scrape up little bits. Okay, there we go. Lemon zest. And the lemon curd. I mean lemon juice, not the curd. Okay, there we go. And of course, two tablespoons of the, the lemon curd, not the lemon juice, this is the actual lemon curd for real these this time, no cop out. One table, one tablespoon. Ah, ah. Okay, seems so I might have to use a knife, as the wife is suggesting. Oh, that smells good. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder when Ford yeah, I mean, the, you, you, that actually, I was just a whisper, I was just like a shout this time. 
Put the wires behind the camera. Uh, two table. Yeah, that. Yeah, that works well. Now what we're going to do is that we're going to fold in the lemon curd juice and zest. Curd. Some things occurred here. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to dive, divide the lemon curd mixture between our two tins. Um, here, here comes the first batch. Uh, there we go, nice dollop and a bit. Okay, now here comes dollop two and a bit. There we go. Oozing on in there, like I don't know, some some form of, some musician I don't like who's been around for a very very long time. But hey, um, I think it's all I've got to show right now. I'll see you in the next step. Okay, so we have actually a. Uh, smoothing down the tin, the mixture in both tins rather than necessary step and then what you have to do is that we're going to take these two and we're going to stick them in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes or until the experimental skewer comes out clean okay so our cakes are now out of the oven we shall now put them onto the wire rack where they shall cool for the next 10 minutes and well, well now we are going to make the lemon curd filling for the lemon curd cake um, we shall now be we first added the mascarpone cheese into the bowl all 250 grams of it conveniently we actually had 250 grams of mascarpone so you know that's good now what you have to do is add the remaining four tablespoons of lemon curd oh yeah we'll require a knife Yes. I didn't want to say it. Yes, but I didn't want to say it. Yes, anyway. Um, there we go. Spoon two. Beautiful. Spoon three. That'll, that'll do lemon curd. That'll. One more. That'll do. Well, almost. Almost. One more. I mean, I said that. <laughs> Why can't it just be quiet loose? There we go. Good. Now we're going to stir it together with this spoon until it is all incorporated. Okay, this might take a while, so... Okay, so now the in this mixture, this curd, will actually now be tip put onto right here. There we go. Just gonna lump it all in nice and bit by bit. I'm going to spread the uh, the the um, curd over the base of the cake. Sorry, got my uh, word stuck there. You know. Right now, I uh, may have forgot this, but we are also going to uh, add on a little bit of icing sugar on top to dust the top of the cake. Got to be fairly good with this. Okay, I think that will do. I just got like it's hard to press the rest of it through. Oh, I guess not. Maybe not. Okay, now here we are. A nice, wonderful slice of lemon drizzle cake, completely slathered in the boss in the middle bit. We have lemon curd. Well, it's not lemon drizzle cake, it's just lemon curd cake. Ah, look at it ooze out the sides. Now let's give it a taste test sight. Um, down the hatch. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now the cake, that's moist as heck. Most moist cake I've ever had. Um, the lemon curd. Well, it's a bit like a lemon yoghurt, but I mean, I assume it will solidify in the fridge. Mm-hmm. Perfectly good, perfectly good meal that it was. Anyway, if you like this video, do be sure to like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, follow my social media on Facebook and Twitter. 
or, and, well not my social media on Facebook and Twitter, share it on your Facebook and Twitter. Also, do be sure to follow my Instagram and my blog, which is coming up soon. And if you like this lemon cake video, why not check out my other video involving lemon lemons in the lemon drizzle cake, which is in the description below. I'll see you in the next video.